Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This is Stiletto coming at you from the Wild Wild West. Well, today we're going to go over one that, that I didn't show you guys the other day when I, I did an unboxing on my waistline. My budget waistline. This is the other one that came with it. And this is coming from Knife Country, Knife Country USA. And if you use their code KCUSA, you get a 5% discount. Knife Country USA. Can't remember exactly how much this one was. I know it was under $60, put it that way. I think it was more like $52 or something like that. Not exactly sure, so. But you can go on Knife Country USA and you can check them out. It's an artisan knife. It comes in a beautiful artisan pouch. Artisan, to me, has a lot of class. They're a lot like Hogue. Where Hogue does a lot of extra little things that, I don't know, just to make their product seem more nice, more top shelf. And I like that. I like that. I like feeling that I'm buying something that's really, you know, top shelf and, and, and has good value. The specifications. Yes, you've seen the Hornet. And you've seen the waistline. So you can guess which one this one is. I told you which three three models I was going to try out. Both in the, the elite versions and in the, the budget versions. Or the high-end versions and the budget versions. Is that a good way to put it? This one's model is 1707P. Blade steel. D2. Blade hardness. 58 to 60 HRC. Handle material. G10. Black G10 to be exact. Structure, ceramic ball bearing, liner lock. Process, CNC machine. Nice box that it comes in. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. And yes, it's the shark. It comes in a little plastic sleeve. It's inside of here, inside the bag. Put, keep everything back in here. Really nice and neat and put it away this one's meant to be a user this shark knife I, I bought it to go in my go in my drawer my EDC drawer rotation drawer it's meant to be a user and yes it doesn't have the high-end models we're still waiting on that one to get in it hasn't come in yet and that'll be coming from Knife Country USA also I got some really good deals on arson knives with Knife Country USA because you can use the discount code so it makes everything cheaper and they charge it the exact same prices that everybody else charges and then you get the five percent discount makes everything a little bit cheaper what you doing kiddo guess who wants to make her make her entrance there she is there she is miss america that's my baby that's my baby she loves me. That's yes, my girl. That's yes, my girl. She loves Papa. She's a big old Papa girl. Mm-hmm. Yes, she is. You love Papa for the last 13 years, huh? That's right. All right, kiddo. All right. So let's get into it. Check out the centering, perfect. This one has blue stainless steel liners. And they look like they're anodized blue stainless steel liners, like anodized aluminum or titanium, but it's my understanding that they're stainless steel. And they absolutely look beautiful. I love the finish. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a G10 backspacer. I love the black and blue. Black and blue looks good together. Black and red would look good together too, or black and purple. Beautiful fit and finish. Absolutely perfect. I love the black G10 scales, and this one has this is one of the newer models with the adjustable T8 pivot. It's not like this on both sides. It's like that. Thick blade. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a 3.8 millimeter because all the budget knives so far have been have had. 3.8 millimeter blades and all the high-end versions have four millimeter blades the Hornet and the waistline so far 
have four millimeter blades and so I expect the shark the high-end version of the shark model when we get that one in to have a four millimeter blade too we'll see seems to be the pattern there's a lock up this is a really beautiful liner lock to me this is a gentleman's folder I would classify the shark as a really nice gentleman's folder and these are only like 50 bucks, like, you know, like $52 or something like that. I think I paid for it. I want to say I paid 52 bucks for it at Knife Country USA. It has ceramic ball bearings and I can't tell what they're encased in. Hold on, let me get my flashlight. Let's see if I can tell you what the cage looks like for the ceramic ball bearings. All right. But so far, I'm really impressed with artisan knives. All my artisan knives are awesome that I've received so far. Yes, it looks like they're encaged in the white nylon. These aren't the um, bronze phosphor cages for the ceramic ball bearings. And lockup is awesome. It's nice and flat and flush against the um, against the, the leaf spring, against the, the blade tang. Very well made knife. It's got a stone wash finish. Stone wash finish. Beautiful knife. Absolutely love the shark. This was the one I actually planned on carrying the most. I didn't really know if I was going to be able to carry the um, the Hornet, even though the Hornet is probably the design I find most attractive. It's not the most useful though, and then for the, a knife that I carry every day, it has to be able to cut because I often need a knife for cutting chores. And so the knife that I carry to work has to be able to cut. Cut salami cheese, paper, wherever I need it to cut. It needs to be able to cut. And so I, like, I usually like knives with good edges for my everyday carry knife. The one that I use for everything that I carry to work. I'm gonna pull out the, uh, the waistline. Let's just compare it to the waistline. Absolutely love the waistline. The only thing that I wish that these two have that they don't have is, I'm sure you all can guess what I'm talking about. I wish they had black pocket clips. How come nobody really likes to use black pocket clips no more? I like black pocket clips. Or at least give me a choice. Can I purchase black pocket clips from Artisan? You know, if I could do that, that's, that's cool too. You know, but I need black pocket clips. I want to carry both of these knives to work. I want them both to be work knives. But and before I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to get me some black pocket clips because these pocket clips are fairly long and they're shiny. They're very shiny. I love the action on these. These are beautiful knives. These are beautiful knives. These are my gentleman's folders. These are my gentleman's folders that will be in my rotation drawer. Absolutely love them. Both of them have stone wash handles. This one has a texturized black G10. This one has smooth G10. This one, the pocket clip sits on top of the um, handle scale. So if these come loose, this is the kind of pocket clip that it's not, I mean, the way it's mounted is not the best way to be mounted. But this one, because I don't have a jacket knife, I might take the pocket clip off of this one and use it without a pocket clip and use it as a jacket knife. It's gonna be winter pretty soon. I need a jacket knife for my motorcycle jacket. And that might be what this one's gonna be destined to be. It might become a motorcycle jacket um, knife. Absolutely love these though. These are beautiful knives.
beautiful, 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 beautiful knives. I highly recommend Artisan Cutlery. Let's see how sharp it is. Now, the only one that wasn't sharp so far was the uh, Hornet. The Hornet was only had, it was partially sharp, but not totally sharp. Not able to go from the, the, the sharpening choil to the tip. Let's see how sharp this one is. Maybe a little bit better reach over here. Looking pretty good. Yeah, that's sharp. Look at this one. Oh. This is the sharpest one. When I cut with this one, look at the, look at the cut. See how clean that cut is? I mean, this is like effortless to cut with this one. And this one is sharp, but it's not as sharp. It's not as sharp, but it is sharp. This one is super sharp. Absolutely love these though. Absolutely love these. So far the sharpest one is the waistline. Second sharpest is the sharp. Now both of these have thick blades. You know, they, they're, not, they're not thin blades, so for them to be that sharp is pretty impressive. Let's see how thick the blade is. Like I said, so far, all these, all the, all the budget ones have had 3.8 millimeter blades. Let's zero out. Let's see if we can see what this one is. I'm trying to hold it so you guys can see it too. Always measure at the blade tang. 3.93. So that's real thick. This one is 3.80. Let's measure this one again because it should have been. Okay, now we got 3. Point... I'm going to say 4 millimeter. Hold on. 3.80. That's what it really is. 3.80. That's what I thought it would be. So all the budget ones, as far as the Shark, the Hornet, and the Waistline, the budget versions, the ones that are $60 and under or whatever, are 3.8 millimeter. And the, the, they're roughly all roughly get real, real close to four inch blades. The blade on this one is four inches. I mean, it's just a touch under four inches. Same thing with this one. And I know the Hornet is more like 3.75 3 inches or something like that. It's, a little, it's the shortest one out of these. Beautiful knives. Highly, 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 highly recommend these. If you need a good, fo uh, good folder for work or gentleman's folder. This one has a really nice blade. I can see this being use useful for all sorts of you know daily cutting chores. Be awesome for opening up letters because how narrow it is. Beautiful blade. D2. D2 stone wash, 3.8 millimeter. Full stainless steel liners. This one doesn't have any um, skeletonization in the, in the, on the show side handle. The, these are all solid stainless steel all the way through. No, no lightning or, or, uh, or skeletonizing in the, in the, in the liners. But they're beautiful. I love this blue finish on it. It's really beautiful. It's nice to look at. Very well done. And this would be easy to carry. Be nice and slim in your pocket. Let's check out. Eh. 
It's okay, but it's not super safe. It's okay, though. I think this one feels a little bit more safe. I'd like, I would trust the waistline a little bit more. Just the way that the flipper's made. Because the waistline has a little bit bigger flipper. And so it covers your finger a little bit better. See how much they weigh. The shark feels a little bit heavier than the waistline. Let's do the waistline first. 4.3 ounces for the waistline. 4.3 ounces for the shark. They weigh the same. I don't know, for some reason though, this one feels heavier. Let's weigh it again. 4.3, that's what it is. Well, now we got 4.2. So this is a little touch, it's a touch heavier. Beautiful knives. Both of these are beautiful. Easy to conceal. This would conceal very easily in the pocket. The only thing I don't like about these are the, are the pocket clips. And, no, and what I don't like about the pocket clips is that I don't want them to be so shiny. I, I want a black pocket clip or, or a dull finish pocket clip. One that's not shiny looking like a fishing lure. I want to attract attention to my pocket. Absolutely love these though. They're perfectly made. Both of them centered perfectly. Artisan's making some nice knives. If you like liner locks, these are awesome. These would be awesome liner locks for a person that likes liner locks. Me, I'm not the biggest liner lock fan, but I do like these knives. I like the artisan knives. Because I don't really have any lightweight gentleman's folders. And now I do. That's one thing that attracted to me. Because Artisan makes a lot of knives. You know, they make like the, the, the ones that look like they'd be better cutters and stuff like that. I think that was at the Artisan Arroyo. That one looked interesting to me. And there's a couple other Artisan knives that look more like um, heavy duty cutting knives. But I sort of held off on that because I don't think of liner locks and frame locks as heavy duty cutting knives. For knives like that, I, I you know I rather prefer my old Cole Steels. But for for a lightweight, easy to carry knife that I would carry to work, and you know because at work I want something that's lightweight that I don't really think about that's in my pocket. And these are a little bit bigger than I normally would carry to work because normally I carry to work like three to three and a half inch blade, sometimes three point seven five inch blade. These are four inch blades. A little bit bigger, but the, the knife is so nice and slender and small. I think it'd be cool. And I know this would be a really nice knife for, you know, food prep. And doing what I use my pocket knives mostly for is like food prep, making my lunch at work. <laughs> <laughs> and opening up letters and boxes and things like that and packages. Those are the other things I use them for. I don't really use knives for heavy duty cutting chores. I don't have a need for that. I'm a city person. I don't live out in the forest or whatever, so I don't need wood crafting tools. I just need something that could, you know, handle my everyday chores, you know, and also be a self defense tool too. Both of these could be make great great self defense tools also. Well, I think that's about all I got to cover on these. I think we covered everything. We covered the length, the size. These are absolutely beautiful knives. Highly recommend them. I'm glad I finally got my shark. I have a couple more sharks coming. I have some Smoky Mountain Knife Work sharks coming that I'm going to just collect. I'm not going to carry or anything. I, got, I, think, I think I got one that's copper and one that's bronze. Or no, copper and brass, I think it is. The bronze ones were gone. But I just, they're, they're Smoky Mountain exclusives, and I just got them to collect. And I also have a high-end one of these, a titanium one, a titanium shark coming too. And when that comes in, I'll make a video showing you this one and the titanium shark. So you can see the differences. But I absolutely love this one. The shark is beautiful. It's a beautiful little folder. I shouldn't call it a little folder because it's actually you know, a large folder. But I like the way it fits my hand. It's real comfortable. 
The only thing I'm not the big fan of is the pocket clip because I want a dark colored pocket clip. And I think it'd be cool if they had all the hardware be blue too. That was that's what would look cool on this one is if they anodized a, or made this blue like they did the liners and didn't do all the screws like they did the pivot. Do it all in blue. That's what they should do with this one. Make all the hardware blue and the, the pocket, clip, pocket clip blue. That would be nice. Because this color of blue would be dark enough. It's almost like a black. It, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't, you know, attract a lot of attention. Especially if you're wearing blue jeans. Absolutely love it. This is a great knife here. Let's see how big, let's see how thick the, the um, the leaf spring is. Just out of curiosity. Go back to zero. Okay. I'm going to try to measure the leaf spring. I don't know if I will be able to measure it. One point five millimeters. This one's one point five five millimeters on this one. On this one. One point four seven millimeters. Now the reason why I want to check them because this looks thick. Doesn't that look thick? Looks like a thick liner, doesn't it? Compared to this one, this one's thicker. Technically, I guess you could say they're the same size. But I can see why this one looks thicker now that I'm looking at it is because this one's square. This one's square. The it's not rounded off. It's square. This one looks like it's rounded. The edges are rounded, so that's the reason why it looks thinner. It's sort of like the cold steel, the cold steel, the nice Oya bun, the um, collector's edition Oya bun, the, the Lindsay Thompson Oya bun. That one has rounded liners too. And I bet you it's fairly, I bet you it's like, I bet you that's a standard, about probably about 1.5 millimeter blade, I mean, uh, liner thickness or leaf spring thickness for a liner lock. That, because they all look about the same to me. I know people always talk about, well, that's thin liners. and I think they're all pretty much pretty close to being the same. A liner lock is not as, you know, from what my understanding, is not as strong as a um, frame lock. But one thing I do like about liner locks over a frame lock is that you don't have any things that you have to worry about. Like on this one, well, let me get better. Use my ZT. But on this one, so you have to deal with the frame lock when you're holding it. Because if you're holding the frame lock and you go to open it, it won't open. See what I'm saying? If you just have like a regular grip, you have, you have to have a frame lock grip where you hold it off of the lock and now it'll come open. If you have your fingers on the frame, it doesn't want to open. Now, I've heard people complain about, like this one, this model, uh, um, the bare knuckle, which is a model that I really, really like. I've been carrying this one to work every day since pretty much since I got it, because I, I really like this one. <laughs> I like the size. To me, this is like a perfect size for a work knife. And on, like I said on this one, if you have your fingers on the on the the frame lock, it doesn't want to open. Now I hear a lot of people complain about how these are hard to open, and I bet it's because they're putting their fingers on the frame when they go to open it. Because like when you take your fingers off the frame and you go to open it, it opens, just like the ZTs. So that's one thing that I like about liner locks over frame locks is that you don't have to deal with the, the frame because it's the, the, the frame is actually covered by the handle scale. And so you can hold on to the handle scale as tight as you want to and it won't interfere with the, with the operation of the lock, opening it or closing it. See, I can hold this anywhere I want to and it's still going to fly out. 
That's one thing that I think a liner lock has over a frame lock. But the drawback is that this type of design is weaker than this type of design. I guess you can make this just as strong as this, but you would have to make the liner really thick. And also with the frame locks, the new frame locks, they got the um, the hardened steel inserts that, you know, if that wears out, you, know, you start to get a little bit blade play, you can replace the hardened steel, hard steel insert and you go and you have a new knife again. Whereas this one, you would have to replace the entire leaf spring. So this one has more legs that it can be repaired down the road if you start to get blade play. This one you really can't. Once it wears out, it's worn out. Unless the factory would fix it. I don't know if they would fix that or not. They might consider that an uh, uh, everyday wear item. Absolutely love these, though. But, you know, for 50 bucks, this is going to last you, you know, just as long as you need it to last. And if it did wear out or whatever, you just get another one. These are 50 bucks. This is 200 mm, and sixty dollars if you buy one new, two hundred sixty to two hundred eighty dollars. You can buy a whole bunch of these for one the price of one of these. Something to think about. This one's affordable. This one's affordable. And so I would I would get one of these. These are like a you know under a hundred dollars. Under eighty dollars or so, right around in there. It's real affordable. This one's USA made. USA made. These are made in China. Artisan cutlery, ZT, and Kershaw. Absolutely love them. Highly recommend these. If you're a person who likes liner locks, these are beautiful. Let's see what the balance is on these. A little bit handle heavy on the waistline. This one feels handle heavy too. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're both a little bit handle heavy. That's one thing I noticed about the artisans. All the artisans are a little bit handle heavy so far. Everyone that I've tried so far has been a little bit handle heavy. None of them had 50-50 balance. All right, people. That's all I got for these. Hope everybody's doing good out there. Peace out. Stiletto. Have a great day.